Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I um, want to show you some tricks on uh, checking your estimates after you've completed like a level one, level two, and level three certification. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can um, temporarily remove things like you see this right here on your grouping tree you have all this rooms right that you created in addition to that you know when if you go in here uh, let me get this thing you know you have a bunch of different um, line items right and whenever let's say I'm in the living room or like here this one has 29 line items you see all this stuff that I have here you can go in and filter this so what I'm talking about is on the right hand side is my second monitor sorry about this looking small it's just uh, I had to kind of do this with two monitors so you could get an idea what uh, for me to convey what I'm trying to show you so in a bunch of my videos I showed y'all how to get your instructions put in a Word document so that you could refer back and forth and you don't have to open up exact where uh, to go back and forth okay so um, now I'm going to show you once you have did, uh, did all your line items uh, here let me let me go to my line items uh, it looks like my line items they start like right here so of course the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go and read word by word and make sure you change everything accordingly then you have to go in there and start doing the estimate okay so uh, I'm gonna skip this one right now here I, I, let, me, let me put myself a note to make sure that I go back to step two because this is another thing I want to show you uh, STP2 okay uh, and I'm gonna try to make this video short because you know you don't want to lose your audience right, right away so this is gonna be done real fast so let's say that um, <clears throat> um, let's pick drywall for instance okay step four it says drywall one half it tells you to remove and replace drywall tape floated uh, ready to paint in the walls and ceiling of the floor which is DRY one half okay um, now it's very easy to, when you're doing this to especially if you want to do multiple ones for instance let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna click on kitchen I'm gonna hold my control key and then I'm gonna click nook okay then I'm gonna uh, select my great room and uh, bedroom one on the second level and I'll do one more uh, the linen uh, it's in here somewhere uh, what is it level is it linen is um, let me see linen it doesn't say so I think it's level two let me see if I remember right uh, oh the the reason it doesn't show it here is because it's a subgroup of an item so it's not going to show it in here but we'll skip that for right now because that that's not what uh, what I'm trying to show you okay now so if you were going to add drywall to this rooms you see how cumbersome it, it, it can look <clears throat> um, I'm gonna have to use a different document because right now there's too many items here so let's talk about let's talk about uh, checking your items okay now if I was if I wanted to check my items let you see I've already done my estimate 
this estimate is like 116,000 something like that. Uh, you know, that it's a, it's a pretty big estimate. So, uh, 116,886.51. Okay. So, <clears throat> I have to go back and, and double check my work. Okay, because you know you you don't want to pay a hundred dollars every time you take this test, so you want to pass it on your first one. So you see how hard it is to check right now, right? So even if I select kitchen first, then you know then you got to go each one and go through. Like this one has twenty nine items, and you have to find it. I'm gonna show you a trick. Okay, so. There's two ways of checking this. And my, uh, I'm going to show you the one way that you make sure that it's nowhere else but there. Okay, and that is if I click here and I right click, I go into my view filters. Okay, so I'm going to remove what's in there so that I can show you from scratch. This is what it's going to look like. So the first thing that we want to do is find the category. The category is DRY, okay? Because that's what the category for drywall is. Uh, right here, remember it says, remove and replace one half drywall, float it ready for paint. So that's DRY one half. So now we have to add a um, selection or selector which would be uh, selector that selector is gonna be um, DRY one half okay that right there is DRY drywall hang tape floated ready to paint now and you see there's two of them here, AV. It's not going to hurt nothing, but I don't want to show AV, which, you know. So I'm going to go to AV and remove that from this filter. Okay. So now I got DRY one half. When I hit OK, you see on the grouping tree, it shows you 0 slash 14, 0 slash 2, and so on. Zero means what you selected here, what you filtered, there's nothing here on the main level. On your entry stairways, there's nothing, you see? There's nothing there. Now look, in the kitchen is the first place it's going to find it. So there it is, DRY one, one half. One half drywall, tape, float, ready. Uh, ready for paint. So what I do, I go in here and I se select that. Now, <clears throat> if it's, uh, well, you have to read your instructions, and I'm not, not going to go into include sub rooms. That's an, another. An, I'll put another a. Uh, I'll put another video about this. Okay, I can make this things real long. So then, you see, one. There's one in the nook. So I would go in here and select nook. The next one is great room. There, you see, great room. And then the next one, I just go down on the second floor on the master bedroom. So um, master bedroom. Okay, so you see, look at the beauty about this, guys. I made a mistake. It doesn't say here, it doesn't say to pick master bedroom. It says to pick bedroom one, which I did here, right? So now watch. Well, I'm here, and I can go in here and delete that, and now it's no longer there. You see, it's a zero. So, I just I just help myself catch a problem. So here's bedroom one, and then, um, oops. So bedroom one is okay. 
then leaning okay like you're leaning lean, the leaning one and two it's you're not gonna see it here because that is a sub group of an item and I'll show you how to go and find that but right now the next thing it says walk-in closet level two uh, you know here's your second level and if you don't see a walk-in closet it's because um, uh, it's because it is a, um, a another subgroup of something but here look at this holy moly I found another one you see hallway 2 it says drywall ready to float there's another mistake I almost made and look let me see how big of a mistake that is it's a a one hundred and eighty six dollar mistake so if there was a question about that or even in the totals or it's gonna ask you about what how many taxes we're gonna pay for this estimate there would have been three or four questions that I missed okay now that's part of the you know an, an addition you want to make sure that you have um, your your estimate sketch properly so let's say you didn't do it pro sketch it properly there's another problem you would have so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because this is my real estimate here okay so now um, but now we still have to go and you, I don't see nothing else so we know we didn't put DRY one half nowhere else in this estimate okay so right I already found two mistakes no no I already man I you see I already already failed most of this test so that's why the stuff I'm showing you you can't come out of here uh, passing this level 3 certification with a 9095 if you just listen to what I'm telling you just follow my steps and you'll make a good good grade but again you still got to uh, draw this thing but this is another intricate part of your uh, examination so now so now let's go and find the leaning one the the two and the walk-in closets and those have to be in you know uh, it has to uh, have to have DRY one half now let me show you how to do that uh, so bedroom one I see okay so let's go to sketch control K and uh, linen is on level two so let's go to level two okay so you see right here is linen one and right here is linen two now I could go in here and uh, by the way I, I'm I, I'm using a lot of my canvas so if I want to, so I have to hit shift enter to get this um, my estimate you know where I can estimate right so look if I click on lean in one oh boy I don't see it there let me see about um, lean in two okay so something's going on here so if I go in and uh, type uh, let me see DRY one half click here see I can add it to lean in one Okay, and I can add it to lean in two. Okay, and those are the only ones that I'm adding this to. So I'm gonna go, and I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna escape. There's still something going on because, uh, see. I should see that right here and so let me try it again so DRY one half whoops
ready to float. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, I must have removed it or something, but here, let's go back to this one and click here. And it added. I, I saw it added, right? So, the next thing is I'm looking for my walk in closet, which is right here. Now, you have to be careful because when you select this stuff, if the walk-in closet had a subgroup, like let me show you, uh, like uh, here, let me let me show you one that uh, has a subgroup. Master, you see, like if I click here, it's selecting the master bedroom and the walk-in closet. That's why we couldn't see it before, guys, because this is a subgroup of something, and they're not asking to put the master bedroom, right? So now. If I click only on the walk-in closet, see, I have to be careful not to select that. So if I just select that, now uh, they should have threw, threw it in here, right here. There, oh yeah, it's, it threw, I, I just saw it, walk-in closet, you see? Okay, so let's escape. Now here, it, 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 now, if we, when you go to calculations, it has to walk in closet. Then um, there's your lean in one, okay, and there's your lean in two, lean in one, lean in two. So now that fixed the problem. Okay, so. Now, if you notice, when I deselect it, I don't see my uh, estimate here no more, right? But if I select a room that has an estimate in it, then it's going to tell you what, what's included in that estimate. Okay, so that fixed that. So I'm going to... Uh, let me make sure I haven't done nothing else to this. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And you see right there, I just hit Control S and it saved it. So I fixed that. So now I would select this. So this is how you would check your work. I don't know if y'all know how to fix, uh, how to do this. It says change the gypsum board components in the components price right to four uh point four to do that most of y'all should know but i'm going to show you how to do that just in case what you would do is you have to go to your uh you know you know you're going to go to your estimate uh control e oh I'm, I, I was hitting control e with my word document here go to your estimate you're going to go to so, um, components then you're gonna uh, you're gonna go in here and make sure you select everything okay and right in here you're gonna look for the uh, the drywall you know so so it said to change the the material right so uh, right there you see right there where it says Gism, gism board you I've already done it that's why it's green you double click here and you type point four zero anytime you see in your components something green that means it has been modified okay so uh, we know that's done so I can go in here and highlight this and that I've done this uh, so you get that part already okay so i'm not gonna um uh i'm gonna be real careful not to mess with my document too much because i don't want to do um and i don't want to go o over a bunch of this stuff well this one this one's a real long one so let me show you how it would look like that way you get a better idea same thing clean the walls and ceiling that that is sell in AV that 
Uh, that will give you your clean the wall the to clean the walls and ceiling. So now we're gonna go ahead and do one more, and then we're gonna jump into something else. So here we go. Um, so I'm uh, I'm already an estimate. I was gonna hit Control E, which gets me here. So now this time I'm gonna filter everything except CLN AV. So I'm gonna right click here. I'm going to go into my view filters. I'm going to go ahead and remove those two so I don't accidentally select them, right? So the first one is going to be my category, which I'm going to deselect dry, uh, drywall and we're going to clean. Okay, then we have to add a, a selector, a selector. And we're going to remove one half because that's what we used last time. It remembers. This time we have to find AV. Okay, AV. So it's real good. You, you got to know your categories to do this. Uh, and if you're level three, you know your category. Well, I hope you know your categories. So we're going to hit OK. And then you hit OK. Now, again, if it doesn't have a one in there, then it is not in uh, it shouldn't be there so watch this first one is kitchen okay so if I go here I'm gonna find kitchen um, oh zero no no it's not excuse me uh, the first one is entry stairway one um, I thought I made another mistake. Okay, so entry stairway one with subgroup. Okay, so we're going to select that one. The next one is living room. I go down here, find my living room. There it is. Okay, and the next one is going to be the dining room. So go right in here, select dining room. Uh, so zero, 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 there's nothing there. The next one is bathroom. So we're going to go to the bathroom. On the main level, there it is. The next one is going to be the hallway. So hallway, main, main, uh, main level. Guys, that is why it's very, very, very important when it tells you to, when you're drawing a room, you have to call it exactly what they tell you. Because when you start doing your estimate, is you have to know what they're talking about. Office. So we go to the office. I hope I don't I didn't make a mistake because it's embarrassing to make mistakes entry level okay so we go down here to entry level next one is mud room mud room okay now this sounds like a lot of work but guys coat uh, coat room remember there is only four less than 400 level 3 certified people so you got to do this right. Staircase one, staircase one, and there's over a hundred thousand people that 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 use Xactimate. So the next one is bedroom two. You know, uh, unfortunately, uh, it really is not that long. It's taken me a, a while because I'm trying to teach y'all how to do this. So uh, you know, so bedroom one. Uh, Laundry, we got two more to go, and so we got hallway two. Uh oh, hallway. Oh, oh, hallway second level. Oh, Ooh, I thought I made another mistake. That's correct. And bedroom three. So I got that one right. I would have passed. In, you know, if I would have done, they would ask me anyone about a question on anything, it would have been okay. And I'm going to make sure that there's no other ones that I miss. Okay, you see it's zero, zero, zero. Okay, now you get the idea, guys. You see how important it is to learn this? Now, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to go down here and save this because I'm double checking my work. Okay, now, another way really to check I wouldn't do it this way but I'm gonna this is really how you would enter items so same thing 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different document and uh, a different document to show you how I entered this stuff. And the reason there is a mistake that I found, it was because I didn't do it this way the first time. It like in the, uh, let's say, one third into the estimate, I was like, oh my God, did, did I use this room or this room? And I just kept on going because I knew I was going to check myself. Okay, so uh, I'll find where I made the mistakes, but I, I know during, and I think that we just caught the problem. I, I remember saying, oh my God, I forgot. I think it should have been this and not this. So, keeping that in mind. Now, I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this particular uh, estimate. And I, I oh, here, let, let, let me wait for this thing to finish. Do not mess with Xactimate while this thing is in progress. Uh, you know, when you saw the status line, it, it, that's a no, no. It's and level... Uh, X1 is sorry. So let's go to, uh, I got another one here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the estimate, uh, which is where your tree is. Ah, oh, this one doesn't have a lot. Here, give, give me a second here. Let me see if I have a better one. Um, uh, oh, let me see. Let's go to estimate. Now you see, I've been, I, I was teaching this other person something. So uh, we are. I hope it's. If not, I'm going to show you from here. Okay, this was the beginning of an estimate that I was doing. So uh, this is how you how you would do it. Okay, so we're going to pretend that. This right here was, you see, right now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not a lot. So it would be really easy just to click here, hold, hold my control key, click here, click here, click here. And you could compare this to this. Okay. I don't like doing it that way when you have a lot of uh, bedrooms or a lot of rooms. So the way you filter it is you would right click here. After, you don't even have to select them. So look, so I'm gonna deselect. So I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna go filter options and I'm gonna deselect everything. So watch this. I'm just going to select two, three of them, right? And hit OK. Oops. Hit OK. Now that's the only thing that shows up. So if you were looking at this view, then you 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 would just select everything, and you don't you know your eyes are not just. Um, it's easy to find out that you have everything here. So, so basically what I do when I'm doing this, so let's say that this was this. If So this is the great room, right? I would just select the first character so that I knew that this is the room. And then I would select bathroom. And I would go right in here and select the bathroom, the, just the first character. Because I'm not going to highlight this until I've put in the... Uh, the categories. So let me add a few more um, um, <clears throat> rooms to my. F Oops. Oh, I'm going to use some. I'm glad I wasn't. Uh, uh, so let's go to my uh, filter and I'm going to add uh, those right there, right? So what I would do is I would select them all. Okay, um, and then uh, I just added this thing. I, I'll, I'll, when I close this, this is not going to show up. So I would put, you know, DRY one half, which is drywall, hung, ready, 
to tape and look WC because it's saying that it wanted uh, the walls and ceiling okay now this one's a different one actually on this particular one it says seal then paint so it would be uh, PNT uh, SP you see seal paint then paint V is your category uh, calculations two coats so seal prime then paint two coats walls and ceiling and that's walls and ceiling you would hit OK and then so um, later on if you were gonna check uh, you know for to see where you put seal and paint you know first you would go in here and, and then you would remove your filters by going in here and selecting everything and now you have everything here right then you would go in here and you would go into your filter views and uh, you would add category uh, PNT uh, then you'd add a selection of selector and that's PNT SP you hit OK and then you hit OK now down here the if it has that category in there you would have a one and remember all we add is one one category that's why you, you don't see here where it would be 0 of 23 or 10 of 4 or you know uh, a 3 of 4 or whatever you only see one one because we only add one category but you get the idea okay well thank you for watching this video I didn't ex intend it to be this long but uh, I'm telling you guys you can catch a lot of your problems and that's a matter of either making 75 to 95 to maybe 98 if you just take your time and double check everything thank you for watching my videos if you like this please uh, put a thumbs up and become a subscriber I got a bunch of little tricks that uh, you might like